episode, I'm making a baked keto sugar-free gluten-free cheesecake. This is suitable for anybody following a high fat, low carb kind of eating style. And I'm gonna start off by making a base, either out of almond flour or rice flour, the choice is yours. The recipe is available in my new book, Live Well and Thrive, which is available everywhere. So if you happen to make the recipe and, or, or something along the lines and it turns out really well, please take a photo and send it through to us. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with um, just our flour. What I've got in this bowl is plain rice flour, but you could use oat flour, you could use ordinary flour, you could use almond flour. Almond flour is the nicest, it does give the best texture and the best flavor. To the flour, I'm going to add half a cup of melted butter. So you need to use butter, not margarine. Um, and what I'm gonna do to that, as well as add a quarter cup of xylitol, you can also use erythritol. I would definitely suggest using a powdered form, not a crystallized form, because it does tend to give you a smoother finish. And to that, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of sea salt, just to give it a little bit more depth of flavor. And we're gonna mix it up until it forms a dough. So what we have here is a very buttery pie crust, which I'm gonna pour into the pie dish and just press against the bottom, against the sides, like you would do if you're making any cheesecake. And then the best thing to do while we are mixing the filling is to pop this in the fridge. Because it's made with so much butter, we want the butter to, to chill a little bit and to harden so that it holds its shape. And that's absolutely perfect. It's holding nicely, it's not falling apart, it's not cracking. Absolutely perfect. And now we do the filling. So what I've got here is half a kilo, 500 grams of full fat cream cheese. You can of course use low fat or fat free, but it won't give you that nice texture and consistency. And as this is a keto cheesecake, um, we're gonna go crazy with the high fat dairy. So there's our cheese. To this I'm gonna add half a cup of xylitol, and you could use erythritol, you could use stevia, what absolutely anything that appeals to you. Uh, 250 ml of cream, because what would cheesecake be without cream, and four whole eggs. Okay, so we've got a high fat, high protein filling, no sugar, and of course, juice of one lemon, just to give it some tang. I wanna blend that up for about 10 seconds until it's completely smooth before we pour it into our pie case. <laughs> So our filling is lovely and silky and smooth and ready to be poured into our refrigerated pie crust. So the pie crust has been sitting in the fridge for about 10 minutes. We just want the butter to harden. And now I'm going to pour the filling into the crust. It's beautifully silky and smooth. And then we want to put it into the oven for about 30 minutes at about 180 degrees. So our keto lemon cheesecake is absolutely spectacular. It does need, I'd say about an hour at room temperature just to set um, so that the cheese and the cream solidifies before you can slice it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And then what you can do is also just garnish with a couple of lemon slices, perhaps a dusting of cinnamon, and off you go. No one would ever know that this was actually a healthy cheesecake.